Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to do the color wheel for your assignment. So, you'll need some paper. You can just get eight and a half by 11 um, computer paper. I would not do notebook paper because we're gonna be painting on this and that's gonna be a little bit too thin. This paper is a little bit thicker. If you had some construction paper or manila paper, that would work. But again, if all you have is um, the white, um, Computer paper, that's totally fine. So first thing, put a title at the top of your paper, color wheel. Just like that. Um, and then at the bottom, I'd like you to put your name. So I'm gonna put my name, but please put your name. And go ahead and put uh, what block you're in. So I'm just gonna put A1, but put whatever block you're in. And then put the date. Today is the 19th of October. Excellent. So after that, you're going to make a circle. So I just got a little styrofoam bowl and I can easily make a circle with this. Um, you could find a lid for something. You could find some other kind of bowl. If you've got a compass, you could use that but this is just as easy and you can make yourself a perfect circle that fills up um, your page, okay? You don't wanna make a really little circle. We wanna make this fairly big, all right? So this one's about seven inches across, okay? So if you can get something about that big, that's what you wanna do. Okay, so I am going to draw a line straight in half to divide up my circle. And then about at the center, so this is about seven inches across. If I wanna get the exact center, that's gonna be three and a half inches right there. So you're gonna start with this. After that, you're gonna make a small X in the middle of your paper like this. Then you're gonna draw two more lines through that X until you get a pie with six slices. So notice mine isn't totally perfect, that's okay. Um, but make sure you have six that are about the same size. All right, so after that, we're gonna label um, our different colors. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna move counterclockwise. We're gonna start with blue. Then we're gonna move to purple. After that, we're gonna move to red. Next is orange. After that, we've got yellow. And lastly, we've got green. All right, so once you've got them labeled, you're gonna fill them in with paint. So when you're doing this, you only need three colors. These are the primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. You're gonna need a brush of some sort and then a cup of water so that you can rinse out your brush after each color. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. So I'm gonna start with my primary colors. I got a little bit of water to help thin that out. I'm filling it and I'm mixing in between my colors. Okay. 
So notice the primaries are not right next to each other, and that's because they help us mix our secondary colors, which is what we're gonna be doing after we fill in with the primaries. Do your best to stay in the lines, but like I said, um, don't stress if it's not absolutely perfect, but we wanna do our best to practice good craftsmanship, so make sure that you can get them as close into the lines as possible. Okay, so we've got our primaries done. So the thing we're gonna do next is our secondary colors. So as you can see, those are orange, purple, and green. So since purple is next to blue and red, I know that I'm gonna mix red and blue to get purple. So I'm mixing them here in my little egg carton. An egg carton, this is what I'm using to hold my paint. And I just cut it. Super, super um, easy way to hold your paint. You don't have to buy anything, all right? Just save your extra egg carton. All right, so I mixed up my red and my blue and I got purple. So I'm gonna fill that in. So when you're mixing, red is a very strong color and you're not gonna need as much of it as you will the blue and the yellow when you're mixing things up today. So just be aware. All right, so we got our purple, lovely. So next I'm gonna make green. So blue and yellow are right next to it. So I know that I'm gonna use blue and yellow to make my green. Awesome, that's a really nice green. It's okay if you need to play with it and adjust how much blue and how much yellow is in to get the right shade of green for you, all right? All right, so we have one more step on our color wheel after the green, and that is going to be orange. And by looking at our color wheel, we know that our yellow and our red are right next to it, so yellow and our red are going to make orange. So you can see the red is really strong, so I need a lot more yellow to make my orange. See how much yellow I've already used and it's still really red. Should have started with yellow. That's a pretty nice orange. I'll do a little bit more yellow. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and paint that in. Awesome, that looks like a good carrot orange. So this is to teach you guys about very basic color theory. Um, which is about how colors relate to each other and also to introduce you to mixing paint which you're going to do you may have already done um, on your pumpkin design color wheels are a great tool um, they can get much more expansive than this but we're doing a very simple one today all right so after that you're done good job guys